Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to create a buffer zone using Python program in uh, QGIS. Buffer can be created for uh, any type of features. Then open uh, uh, QGIS. Uh, go to plugins. Then uh, click Python console. Uh, see that Python console is added to the QGIS canvas. Then uh, to create new project. Uh, uh, type iface dot new project p is capital letter if any old data is existing that will be cleared then uh, a program is uh, created here in the document for better illustration the, we have already uh, opened a new project we need to add layer then uh, name it as uh, input file then output path to be considered then buffer distance also to be considered so to to add new layer there is a code i face dot add vector layer in the case of vector layer v and l are the capital letters here we need to understand uh, case sensitive then give the file path then give convenient name then uh, give ogr just copy data and consider here see that i face dot active vector layer then uh, file name then desired file name then OGR is the file type for the case of vector data then simply enter see that automatically points data is added to the uh, QGIS uh, canvas then uh, name the input file as uh, uh, some code called input file name the uh, open layer as input file then again uh, output uh, can be considered by means of selecting a path including file name then output file is equal to give the path output file is equal to give the path including file name dot shape shape file then enter then buffer distance give the buffer distance is equal to 0 0.02 so here we have considered because as data is in wjs84 where the units are in degrees so we can understand uh, it will be less than 1 so buffer distance is equal to 0 0.02 so these are all the minimum uh, basic uh, types to be assigned then uh, here data i mean field data can be copied from uh, a map layer uh, that is active layer so here we need to understand the uh, a code called data is equal to qgs project dot instance the dot map layer by name input file it means that uh, whatever the fields uh, attribute data available for the input data which will be considered for the output so the data is equal to qgs project dot instance dot map layer okay so then then whatever the empty data that can be considered as layer so layer is equal to data then again we can see that uh, layer fields can be uh, considered as fields whatever the uh, fields existing for the layer that can be considered as fields fields is equal to layer dot fields so that is the again the minimum uh, need to assign then we can uh, write the code for the case of creation of buffer and uh, save in uh, a defined path for that we need to consider the qgs vector file writer the writer is equal to qgs vector file writer it is, it, it is the python code qgs vector file writer then we need to understand within uh, parenthesis output file that we have already assigned then uh, encoding then all the fields also to be added then qgs wkb type is nothing but geometry type which we are considering as polygon buffer zone we are considering as polygon then layer source nothing but uh, crs coordinate reference system then file type is e3 a save file it is the uh, writer code for the creation of buffer zone in the form of polygon so then uh, another major part to write the uh, program for the case of geometry where we are assigning the buffer so for that uh, we need to understand geometry along with the buffer can create using uh, following program the variable f is considered uh, which uh, it, it contains all the attributes with the different geometry like uh, polygon here we need to understand polygon type then at the end uh, you need to uh, write the writer 
to add the features to the buffer layer okay so for f in layer dot get features to for the case of geometry to identify all the features a uh, common python code is layer dot get features okay for f in layer dot get features all the features are going to store in f okay then uh, geom equal to f dot geometry it means uh, geometry of the all the f features are stored in geom here we need to remember two spaces are uh, required two empty spaces are required uh, before copying or typing then uh, major part of uh, buffer is equal to geometry dot buffer then with the buffer distance which we have already considered as 0.02 so here we need to give the space just to provide the space as it is not accepting again we need to start from the uh, i mean for f in layer again geometry can be created freshly so the for f in layer get features then geometry then again here we can use the up and low arrow uh, button the buffer so then uh, f dot set geometry geometry can be set to the features which are available or considered by means of f into then go for the right add features to add the features to the buffer layer it is required again two empty spaces right dot add features f then ultimately print done so again give the two empty spaces print done then uh, run the python code to done okay now file is created so that has to be opened into the qgis by means of interface uh, we know that how to add vector layer uh, here path is not required because that file path we have already uh, named as output file so i face not active vector layer i mean add vector layer output then ogr as it is vector data so we can understand at the end we need to write the program and delete so that we can identify features are existing so then the run the code again you open the same file in the code and open use up arrow to get the previous then uh, add vector layer we can uh, delete empty file so then uh, we can drag to move down so that points can be seen over the buffer zone so these are the buffer zones created for the point with the uh, 0.02 it is what uh, units with respect to geography here we need to understand coordinate system is in degrees where also we need to understand so for more information uh, we can go for the open source uh, blog thank you